for we stay raw, never a raw, or they mad now, cause they lost, that's on you, not on me, lately my phone on DMV, I tried again, I tried again, I tried again, to get some peace, what up, what up? up give me a with charlie if you can hear me loud and clear man hopefully y'all are having a good one everything is good to go just kind of chilling out man just rocking out with that good stuff and just wanted to do first off you know uh congratulations to the edc tryhards okay we know you try your best <clears throat> i know you try you know what i'm saying we always give it our go but um I want to just talk about simple pocket dumps with a what I got up going on today. I'm mostly around the house, just kind of shooting this shit, just kind of freaking rocking out with the cock. Out. And I'm just kind of having a good old time. And let me know what you got in your pocket today, where you're from, what the weather is. The weather here in Dallas is so fickle. It is so freaking fickle. It is crazy. Logan giving me the confirmation loud and clear. Appreciate that, my guy. So just real chill here. I just finished an espresso just kind of sitting here chilling out all that good stuff all of that good stuff tomorrow being blade texas i want to talk about what day i'm going to be there all that good stuff as well hold on someone's at my freaking front door let me see if let me see if that's somebody something of significant importance no we can ignore that okay but yeah so tomorrow being blade texas that's going on this weekend and what's being carried today am i taking in anything what do i intend to get at blade texas i already got my eye on some shit you know what I'm saying? So to keep some stuff real simple, I, I can appreciate like that as well. Dayton, Ohio, it is a rainy mess, says Logan. Mm. Okay. Yeah, see, here in Dallas, let me see. What is the temperature right now? Um. Yeah. It's not bad outside right now. Sit 76 degrees and <laughs> 76 freaking degrees in February, hey, bro. bro. Come on now, dog. Wow. Come on, man. Yeah, so like here in my man cave, like in a garage, it's always a little drafty. I always got a fan going because I'm about to smoke a stick and I got an exhaust going. So it's always like a little drafty in here. So even though it's 76 outside, you know, here in my man cave, it's like what? I think it's probably like 64 or something like that. So, you know, let's just see who's here. Let me get ready to jump into the stick as well. I'm going to smoke a factory smokes. I buy these in boxes of 20. This is a Robusto. This is my freaking last one. Can you believe that shit? What? I know. I'm so sad. Bro, what are you talking about, man? I'm so goddamn sad. I got to order some more, man. He needs some milk. No, I need to light this goddamn stick. So we will get this going. Also, like I said, man, let me know where y'all are at what y'all got going on what's in their pockets today and just kind of all that good do i have my fan everything's already popping real quick man thought i said i'd do a quick lunch time live stream uh let's first off let's see who's already in the goddamn building logan is here saying what up what up as i uh, said earlier stay angry lightning boat nice finally gonna catch a live stream sir i'm so glad you're here you got a good goddamn head on your shoulders okay you made it man you freaking made it. If you're wondering, my name is Marine X. This is my channel. Well, I just like to talk about man cave stuff, EDC stuff, survival prep. I'm about to do some prep stuff when it comes to Eberlin stock, some survival stuff when it comes to Go Ruck. I got a lot of stuff on deck. So if you like that type of stuff, go ahead, hit that good old subscribe button. David, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for being a damn member. Also, consider joining memberships. I drop videos early for them, exclusive BTS videos. How do I do, you know, how do I make video type shit that I think would be boring to the masses? But to those that are kind of die hard, you might want to see some stuff like that. Jamie says, uh huh, Taylor Martin. I'll just, I'll just leave the comment up there for you, man, okay? You said it, not I. I'm just leaving that up there for you. Ryan is here as well. Match, <laughs> match those colors, try hards. Listen, I, I like to do a good matchy matchy EDC every now and again, Ryan. Okay, I had an all orange edc for halloween i was so proud of myself hey, you know bro, boosie come on, now, dog. Mm. 
come on, man. I was so proud of myself. I said, self, myself said what? I said, congratulations, you did it, A+. plus. Give yourself a goddamn pat on the back, man. I was so proud. So sometimes I do the matchy-matchy. I like to do an all-copper EDC every now and again. New Mexico, it's sunny and cold at the same time. That's like a weird thing, right? Like you look out the window, you see this beautiful sun says, stay angry, lightning bolt. And you realize like, oh, it's a nice day. And then you you stick an arm out the door. You stick like a fingertip out the door and you're like, oh, it's it's not going to be. As, it's not going to be as warm as I thought it was. But what's cold to you in New Mexico? Freaking 76 degrees, some shit like that. 74 degrees is cold. Got the nips a little hard out there when it comes to that type of shit. Overall, I'm just saying. Pause. Okay, maybe that maybe that's cold for y'all out there in New Mexico. Clayton is here as well, sir. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for being a goddamn member. Uh, hey. We appreciate that man hitting me with that battalion orange. We appreciate that overall. Jamie says Nebraska's 50 and sunny, rocking a Savivi Mini Praxis. Rechargeable hand warmers are a nice touch, my guy. Listen, I got some rechargeable hand warmers, I think from Zippo. I think they're from Zippo. Don't quote me on that. I would have to look it up, but. Mm. But yeah, so I do like to recharge my hand warm, especially like when I'm hunting or fishing or some shit like that. I probably fish once every two years. I, I hunt multiple times a year and going from, you know, because me personally, you go from the cabin or from the, well, I say cabin, we sleep literally in the back of a horse trailer. So like, uh, the property I hunt on has a horse trailer and one half of it is an RV. The other half is, is for three horses. We sleep in the RV part with, you know, and, and everybody has like their own beds and stuff. But but going from that to a four wheeler and getting into a deer stand like, yeah, hand warmers are important. One of the craziest things about getting in a deer stand at 430 in the morning before the sun comes up is getting in that deer stand and discovering that there are wasps asleep. OK. It's so freaking nerve wracking. If you hunt, you know what I mean. If you hunt, you know what I mean. You get into a deer stand, you realize like, oh, there's wasps in here. They're asleep. Well, let's kill them before they wake up. That's probably one of the weirdest feelings to have. Teddy is here as well. Same, um, awesome, my friend. Thank you for kicking the god dang door in. Ryan says he has the Victorinox compact case medium, a Stockman fossil dad wallet. Phone, work phone, keys, Olight, uh, iMini 2, and a SAK champ. Okay. It's actually a pretty nice extensive carry there. That's what's in my wallet. Uh, oh, okay, I got you. I got you. Checking in from Maryland says, uh, ro oh, man, Raze. My bad. If, I'm, if I've mispronounced that, I hate myself. I am not trying to shit on you, my guy. Shit. I am not trying to do that shit. I am just freaking terrible at names. Jenkins Hall is here as well. Says, love a nice Drew Estate. I love, I won't say anything from Drew Estate because I don't fucking like acid. But I like like tobacco especial, uh, factory smokes, uh, whether I'm doing like a undercrown or undershade or nightshade or whatever they're called. Any of that type of stuff is real dope. Redskin Faithful says, listening to your stream at work as well. Technically, I'm working as well. Just don't say nothing to my boss, okay? Hey, bro, come on it's lunchtime, now. okay? It's lunch. Come on, man. Okay, she has the ability and he or they have the ability to go to goddamn YouTube.com too. It's lunchtime, so I am A-OK. -okay. Hello, all says McGraw. Hey, man, what up, man? Hashtag bars. That's like a dad joke, man. Thanks for kicking the goddamn door in. Benjamin is here as well. Hopefully everything is going good. Birdman in the building. What up, man? Slap stick Nick saying, hey, man, what up to you as well? Yep, it's 44 with the wind. Oh, so it's a real cold out there. My bad. Let me put some respect on your shit, man. Mm, mm, mm. Quick question real quick. Do y'all prefer Johnson & Johnson or Walmart brand baby powder when you slap them like buttons, man? Slap that shit. Are you not entertained? Push me in that algorithm real quick. Let's get some more folks up in this thing real quick. Uh, the real Chris Brown moderator and moderators. Appreciate you kicking the door in as well. Sucker Free is here, man. What up, man? Let's talk about what I'm carrying today. Let's talk about what I'm carrying today. Why I say a simple carry is sometimes always the way to go. It just kind of makes sense. So today, because I'm mostly lounging around the man cave, very simple. So y'all have seen, well, I'm saying, I'm, I'm assuming y'all have seen it. I've done a full EDC loadout when I'm carrying for the winter of 2024. And that doesn't mean I carry this shit every single day, but 
I may carry different components of it. So today I am literally in some like jogger type shorts, got a flannel on top, but just kind of just like keeping it very simple. Keep it simple, stupid kiss. You know what I'm saying? I just decided to grab my Leatherman Free P4 out of my kit that I'm carrying for the winter. So I love the Leatherman Free P4. I've done a mod to it to, to keep me from buying the Leatherman Arc. The Leatherman Arc is now what, three months old now? Four months old, something like that. I think Max Level EDC has a video that's coming out later. He's gonna give his experience of having it for three months. But I did a mod for it where I added a full size one fourth bit driver that locks, that actually locks like it's supposed to. Uh, I linked in the description this, uh, this Leatherman as well as where I bought this mod on eBay. So if you have, you find yourself having, you know, you got a, a multi-tool already you, and you're like, oh my God, as, as much as that arc looks freaking delicious, maybe you can just do a quick mod. Now, I also had to put in upside down on purpose, the file from a Leatherman Curl that I had laying around. In order for it to work in here, I had to put it in upside down. I had to file the back, but this also locks properly. Now I get that fantastic file that cuts on one side and it's a wooden and Listen, you can do this. You can use this for all sorts of stuff. OK, I, I, I watched the video the other day. Somebody said they use it to file their nails. I said, I don't know about that hey, shit. Bro, OK, come on now, dog. I mean, I guess. Come on, man. But I had an old Leatherman curl laying around. I sacrificed it. I did some grinding. I put it into here. But you don't have to do the same thing. You don't need to go acquire a curl. You can just buy these on Amazon for like 12 bucks. But now I've modified this. I got rid of the tools I weren't was not using. And I thoroughly enjoy my Leatherman free P4 now. The only thing I'm missing tremendously that I would be getting from an arc would be the Magna Cut blade. And it today might be a situation where Magna Cut makes sense because I'm not carrying a knife right now. But I mean, for most days, I think what is what is the blade still on a free P4? Anybody know that in chat? I think it's what 154 CM or something. I love me some 154 CM if that's what it is. I don't think that's what it is. I think it's something lower than that. I think about the Leatherman charge, but whatever. This thing here has plenty of tools on it. I love the fact that you can access every single tool while the multi tool is closed. It still has that that freaking magnetic technology where you can open it one handed. But you can still access every tool while it's closed, which is my favorite part. When you get this, just make sure you use it a lot. It says uh, we have an art disciple in the building, it says Clayton. Listen, man, I, I have. So it's so crazy because right now on the base website, I shop on uh, shopmyexchange.com. They're having a crazy sale, like a crazy sale on just all sorts of stuff that I would normally swing and purchase. So I'm like, oh, my gosh. So listen, if you have the ability, if you're a vet or if you're currently active duty, you can go to I'm on this website called shopmyexchange.com. I was on here yesterday and I was looking at the pricing. And it's like, oh, my gosh, ninety six dollars for a Leatherman signal. Like I can get another color. They have, I think, 14 colors of the signal on base. They're saying the, the surge is one oh four. You can get a uh, the wave plus for eighty four bucks. Like these are some fun. I already own the wave plus I already own a signal. What I don't own is a Leatherman charge in this specific kit. Where they have the Leatherman charge with the entire kit you get that 154 cm blade steel you get a half bits you so it's not a full set of leatherman bits you get a um, pocket clip and you get a little uh sheath which all leathermans come with not all but all the ones i own came with the sheath but 104 dollars it's just so freaking tempting but i know i don't need it because i already have like i say i already got the free p4 but if you are a vet go to shopmyexchange.com and uh just simply register there you can grab this stuff and maybe you can find a deal that you're able to, to use that might be useful for you. Log in, snatch this shit up. It's just, oh my God, it just looks so interesting. I don't have a need for it though. I, I, I need not pull the trigger on it, okay? I need not pull the trigger on it. Let me know what you guys are carrying in your pockets as well. So this is the, I guess, technically the only cutting tool I have on me right now, right? True Budget EDC, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for being a goddamn member. We appreciate that, man. So that is here. Now, I tried the Reform wallet, guys. I tried it. Reform sent me a couple of their wallets, and it was it was cool. It was nice. Ian, hey, what up, man? Thanks for kicking the door in. It was cool. It was nice. But my issue with the Reform is really the pricing. It sucks because Reform and Wayfinder reached out to me the same week. Wayfinder sent me their Flux wallet. They also sent me their Daybreaker wallet. We're not going to talk about that because that wallet is shitty. That thing is complete shit. 
but the flux this other wallet that they sent me is goaded it feels like the same material as the reform it only costs 35 dollars when the reform costs 98 bucks i was like i as much as i enjoy you know what I'm saying yeah i do uh, benjamin says do i ever use GovX? yeah I, i'm registered with them with them as well uh, that's for first responders paramedics uh uh peace officers police officers active duty former active duty that they, they have a broader category for GovX. i like shop my exchange because it's tax free but um but this has this basically feels like the same material as the reform but it costs 35 dollars. the reform costs what 98 dollars or something like that. so i'm gonna probably give those away to channel members so my reform wallets are going to be retired i asked mrs x does she want the one that had the coin holder in it or whatever and she was completely disinterested she was she was like what well, do you feel like they're made out of recycled material i was like well they might just be i don't know okay ma'am there is a possibility shout out to shawshank redemption in the top right corner of the screen shout out to shawshank redemption you know what I'm saying? I, I interrupted. I muted my one of my favorite m movies to come hang out, do some peasant level hangout session for y'all, man. Shout out to Shawshank. You know what I'm saying? Bro, got that Costco executive car, says Ian. Yes, sir, man. It be like that sometimes. They got me for all my goddamn money. Bent over and took that shit, man. Oh, my God. It's freaking ridiculous, though. But it is what it is. I use the shit out of it. Mm -hmm. I do use the stuff out of it. So let me see before we... Uh, what else I got going on as well? Let me see if anybody else. He says he is a straight up Arctic. So how are you liking the Arctic? That was a real question. That's like the super duper question is how are you liking that stuff ever? Benjamin says, do I use that? Yeah, we talked about that. Do I see a Rocky? No, you see a uh, factory smoke by Drew Estate and a Robusto. Karen, a Gerber Scout, a Leatherman, a Leatherman rebar in the Kodiak hub light. You know what's so crazy is the rebar is on sale on base as well. And I don't own a rebar, but they got a lot of shit on sale, which is freaking disgusting. This is what I'm talking about when I say I don't like Benchmade sometimes. Look at the pricing base is doing right now. This is legitimate pricing on base for stuff right now. You can get the new Benchmade 535 BK-8, $124. You can get an OG Benchmade bug out for $108. Even when it's not a 108, it's the MSRP that this thing released at in 2017. This is how much the bug out released at when it came out in 2017. It's always been that price on base, always. This is what disgusts me about Benchmade. They don't jack up the prices on for the veteran active duty, but they why are you able to jack it up for everyone else? I mean, you're turning this shit out here. It just feels icky. I don't, I don't know. Is that, a, is that a term? It just it just feels a little goddamn icky. You know what I'm saying? So we got we got this. I mean, they got the mini Adamus, the mini bug out for seventy nine dollars. I don't I literally have this sitting on another bench over here. Some some all sorts of deals the the combo edge bug out for 108 this is just disgusting this is the type of stuff that i don't like when it comes to bench made it's just like i don't know man west has fallen is here as well saying what's good x hey man thanks for kicking the door in appreciate that karen the tjb carter pepper spray a trust fire mini x3 and a glade uh, a, a gallon wallet in a K Walk sport you know i actually looked up when you made a post i think you made a community post about the trust fire mini x3 i went and looked it up it does look like a competitor for like the old like arc arc fail maybe it looked it looked like it could be it looked like it could be a, a competitor for like the old like arc field or something like that so i might i don't know maybe i'll check that out as well shout out to the shawshank for sure what do you think about rfk jr i don't really have an opinion about him other than the fact that he that dude talks a lot and he talks fast okay like the only opinion i about have about him right now is he talks a lot he talks fast i think he's fickle right you can go look up the word fickle i think he meets that definition but about his specific politics i haven't did, uh, did a deep dive into them enough to have a, an opinion uh just if y'all don't know i'm an independent like if you wanted that type of shit i listen to i listen to a lot of talk radio but i listen to like 
both sides all the time i take opinions from both sides one of my favorite commentators is like dan abrams he's real big into protecting the police also like michael smirconish he's an independent like i just like independent thought that's why i could never work in a political space because i can't take a a specific side on either one like i want my ducats and my money protected i don't want to pay tons of taxes and i also don't give a fuck what you do in the goddamn bedroom do you hear me you're pouring up in the middle of the day nah i can't do that man technically i'm still working i'm on lunch right now so i can't do that you know i might have a meeting just some people are just like magically able to smell goddamn liquor on your breath do a zoom call hey, bro, come on now dog. have you been drinking come on man nah i ain't doing that man actually you know what is so crazy ian i actually only really drink like once a week and that's normally just man cave mondays and if i don't do man cave mondays i don't drink so that's normally how it goes for me um when it comes to when it comes to the drinking stuff jenkins hall says just got the lion steel uh bare low nice little slip joint rocking hold on let me write that down i wonder if they're going to be a blade texans it's like all these type of sleeper companies I, i'm always curious about that type of stuff he says uh my nikor edc 27 that's the og i like the 33 a little bit more but i like the 27 um the little uh the little pin scissors janky but they get the job done okay and jay says the arc is fine mine i have mine since october and can't put it down see that's what it's like a lot of people have different opinions about it i'm so glad that you're having a good experience with it jay because then there's some people who are having all sorts of quality control issues right you know what i'm saying so uh god <laughs> okay what's your advice on how do you make money before groceries bro you asking a random youtuber with dreadlocks on an edc channel smoking a stick and sitting at some goddamn joggers in his garage is probably not the way to go man i don't know what to tell you man okay but hopefully you do better chef rocky is out here as well man hopefully you're having a good one and all that good stuff so let me talk about what else we got in the pockets let me see let me talk about what else we got in the pockets he says, what site is that? This is shopmyexchange.com. I just put the link in the description, or actually I pasted it, but I'll paste it again. If you, you got to be a vet or um, currently active duty to use it, but it could be, it could be something that could be useful for you. Uh, let's see. I'm in on Milwaukee. Yeah, I know you like to carry that Milwaukee, right? Jenkins says, hitting a live stream during lunch. Damn, respect the hustle. Man, we just got to make that stuff happen. I thought he was Sam uh, pointing up like six. Oh, my God. Here we go. <laughs> I see what you mean. EDC for today from champ is EDC is the Leatherman wingman. Oh, the wingman cuts into your, my hands whenever I use it sometimes. You know what I'm saying? You know, but we'll see. It, that That's the only time that, that kind of gets me sometimes. The Coast HX5 light. Coast is really trying to penetrate the tactical bros like they really are and hopefully they're able to expand because some of their stuff is neat i my oh shit handle in my truck is a coast flashlight the pepper spray he has a s and w and he has an extreme ops pocket knife where where is that uh tom talk love gone oh it's not gone anywhere it's not gone anywhere man i got a tom talk video coming up now it's probably coming up in the next couple of days uh i got that new voyager bag that they just sent out so uh, let's see. What is this channel? Gun tube. Nah, nah, I don't do too much boomstick content here. Thanks, Sean, for kicking the goddamn door. Mostly EDC content and man cave content prep, that type of stuff. So we like to kind of just rock out with that. Any recommendations on affordable multi tools? So what do you mean by affordable? What's your budget? Because I, I think that the Leatherman Wingman's an affordable option under $100. But you may if you're trying to spend sub 50 then I will go with the Work Pro. New Work Pro line of uh, multi tools that just came out. I've seen nothing but good things from uh, Max Level. I don't own one. Uh, I don't own one rather, but he seems to enjoy it. He seems to have no complaints about it. So when I see, I see like him giving good praise about it, and then I see the multi tool is coming in for twenty five dollars. It's kind of like, well, why would you? You know, it's kind of hard to not recommend this one. 18 and one, it does have a file. I don't know if it's what kind of file it is. It looks like a wood and metal file. 
and it also has a pair of scissors a bottle cap a can opener it does have a slotted screwdriver a regular knife it has a serrated blade a saw back there looks like bottle cap lifters and different size phillips head i mean this looks like i don't know what else you would need so it does have like their version of i guess what would be like a liner lock to lock the tools in place looks like you can access the most important tools while the tool the pliers are closed so i mean i don't know i don't really have too many issues with the way this thing looks so this will be like just straight up budget banger would probably be the one that i would recommend if i was really trying to think about something like that um edc for today from steve is the savivi vision fg the wubin x3 the gerber dime a fitbit watch and a pixel 6 pro listen i love my freaking pixel 7 I used to have the Pixel 6 Pro. I got the Pixel 7. I'm waiting for the new Pixel Fold 2 to come out. I really want to know what that looks like. I'll probably upgrade then. But uh yeah, this thing here, I love this thing, man. And it just kind of it just it does it stays out of the way. It does exactly what I needed to do. Of course, I have to have an iPhone. Like literally my work phone is an iPhone 13. Um but it's just a requirement i prefer my uh i prefer my android all day every day so i'm the guy in your chat that has the wrong color on that good stuff and you know what i just learned like i i learned this the other day the uh, on a live stream i had no clue that the gerber dime had a hidden set i say hidden they're there tweezers i had no clue that the damn thing had tweezers on hey, it Boosie. Bro, come on now dog nah you don't understand come on man I had no clue. So if you have that dime, the dime is a freaking banger of an uh, option too. You know what I'm saying? Being under $30 and you get all those little tools in one, it kind of just makes the job done. Oh, did Shawshank, did it Did it freeze? It's been on that rejected screen for 10 minutes. Uh, I'm playing it on a DVD, guys. I actually still own VHSs, DVDs, and Blu-rays. And I play all of them here in the man cave. So that, that DVD must be scratched because it hasn't moved in 10 minutes. Oh, that sucks. Well, we know he got his freaking uh, parole rejected again, okay? <laughs> Lewis says, do you do you think you can use the SC number four as an EDC? Not in, I mean, no. Yes and no. I have an SC number four. It's never been on my body as an EDC. The only time an SC number four is on my body is when I'm hunting. And it might be a part of a kill kit. But like to actually put it on my body as an EDC, it's a little just for me, it's just a little bit too aggressive. You know, I have the Montana Knife Company Blackfoot. I use that as an EDC. But to actually use the um, to actually use a SE number four, I don't I personally wouldn't do it. Plus, the sheath is a little bulky and I don't even know if you can pocket that. But I mean, if you want to just put it on your belt, untuck your shirt and your, your state allows it. Yeah, it will work for that. It would probably have no issues with that at all. He says, what stogie am I? Oh, my God. Like full size stogies. I don't like that shit. It makes me feel like I'm sucking on a goddamn penis. I don't know nothing about Pause. that. Okay. I know nothing about that. I'm just saying like that's the vibes it gives because of how big they are. This is a factory smoke by Drew Estate. So I don't like gauges that are bigger. I don't like 60 gauge sticks. I don't, I don't like that shit. I don't like that shit. That shit is fucking weird. I don't like that shit, but I am smoking on a uh, Drew Estate Factory smoke. It just kind of keeps the vibey vibes and all that good stuff. Leather rebar is $50 and has a Phillips screwdriver. Yeah, the rebar is a great starter. For me personally, the rebar is almost like a give. Like for some reason, Leatherman will package the rebar as like a giveaway item. Like I was at Costco and they were selling rebars and and free K2s in one package for like 54 bucks. I was like, why are these packaged together? I know it's Costco, but that seems like a weird, it seems a little weird. FGWC's Chris says today's carry is a banter. So he has a Wee Knife Banter SV35. Uh, he has a Creaker Green Micarta, Big Idea Design Copper Mini Boat, and a Sog Power Pint, and an Apple Ultra Watch 2. I love my big idea design mini copper. Do you have the twist? I, I'm assuming yours is the twist action or is it straight up like a boat action? And the power pint of mine, I think I haven't seen my power pint in a while. I don't know if the thing grew legs or what. I'm not a big fan of smart watches. I use them when I'm going rucking. I use them when I'm like cutting the grass, but I prefer to wear real, real watches and stuff like that. 
Still rocking the Gerber suspension OG, says True Budget EDC. Okay, we can appreciate that. Absolutely. So I guess continue to talk about what I'm carrying today. We talked about the multi-tool. We talked about the wallet. Now, I guess I'll talk about my pin combination. I don't normally talk about this too often, but I do have the super simple Fisher Space pin. This is the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 mission. This is a, of course, you know, the anti-gravity Fisher Space philosophy you can write you can use this pen to write on the rain as long as you have the right paper you can write upside down backwards you can write on someone's back you can write while you're in a catcher's position trying to take notes as if you're hvac or whatever i like the way this one looked it's super simple design to be in um it's like 13 bucks of course i probably if it didn't have the fishers uh cartridge inside i would probably change it out because fishers doesn't really write like the it's not the most elegant writing experience compared to like some of my other pens i write every day multiple times a day and so i prefer to have a good pen this is lightweight so when i have a ton of writing to do i will grab this like when i have like a ton and ton a ton of writing to do i will grab this to it kind of keeps my finger fatigue or whatever and i'm writing in a um one of my favorite little notebooks that i picked up lately has been this field books reporters notebook all the stuff is linked in the description if you guys about what i'm carrying and all that type of stuff you can click but this thing here is a reporter style notebook and I just like the fact that I can kind of keep my notes. The last video I did, I had some notes on it. Some stuff I want to talk about today is listed here. When you guys mention items, I'll write it right here. So this thing here is just a fantastic little use case notebook that I use every, <laughs> I use it every day. This thing is, I didn't know I needed this until I got it. This accompanies the, this accompanies the journals that I sell on my website. I gotta use that journal to write my to-do list down. And then I will normally use this to take notes for the rest of the day. Uh, talking about the watch that I'm wearing today, let me take it off. Might make a life a little bit easier for you. So this is the VAR C5 Tactical Solar. Of course, I my favorite is the C is the uh, Solar. I mean the, the A12 Dirty Dozen, but that watch is $900, right? And that's a lot to ask for for a field watch. I enjoy it. I like it a lot, but this one would probably be my number two. This is the C5 Tactical Field Solar Watch by var and this is specifically the solar version it's a quartz movement 40 millimeters that's as big as i go with a watch i will i do not like having a watch bigger than 40 millimeters it just feels too big for me i prefer 38 or 36 millimeters this one here also comes in in just a regular quartz movement instead of solar solar will get you more standby time this one's 299 bucks if you're curious um but it normally it does have a coupon or go on sale or whatever so it, the thing about this, it comes with two different uh, watch bands. It's assembled in the United States. It has a sapphire crystal glass. It's guaranteed waterproof because it has like this screw down crown on the side. It has a little date thing. Fantastic. I, I cannot stop goddamn glazing this freaking watch. You hear what I'm saying? It's a fantastic one. I love it a lot. And it's guaranteed to be waterproof. I think they say 100 meters or 10 uh I can't remember how I don't want to quote that on that without knowing it off the top of my head. But standby time on this thing is at least 24 hours. But I normally can get 40 hours standby time, meaning when I take this off, the, it will keep ticking for an additional 24 to 40 hours. So big fan of this thing. And I love that how simple it is. I love the fact that you can get into this a uh, field watch. And of course, I love the like the Timex field, Scott. I, but I like watches that have loom on them and just feel a little bit more premium and are assembled in the USA. If I can get them like that, that's normally where I like to go with that type of stuff as well. So usually just keeping it really, really simple. Let me see what else you guys are carrying, what else you guys got going on. And then uh, make sure you also freaking slap that like button as well. Ladies, please instruct them that I prefer like, like buttons to be slapped real good, okay? I'm just saying, <laughs> slap that goddamn like button, man. Hit that like button. Let me relight my stick. These are the EDC ladies that just like to come out and chill out and they like to enjoy my stick as well. And sometimes I, I, I stop running my mouth when I'm relighting sticks. Make sure you hit that goddamn like button. All right, ladies, get off that pole.
get off that pole before you hurt yourself. I might need you later. I may need you later, but thank you for kicking that in. So what else y'all got in y'all pocket, man? What else is in the pocket? Um, The wood case is sexy. Well, we'll talk about these wood cases, man. We'll talk about these wood cases. I've, I've expanded some of the cases available on my website that you guys might want to check out. Same here. I have a work, a, a work requirement of an iPhone 13. See, there you go. You know what I'm saying? So it'd be like that sometimes. Just hides in the pocket, says the Gerber dime, says the real Chris Brown. I completely concur with that. Totally hides in the pocket. Love the lighting. I hey, appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. Just kind of keep the vibes looking real good. <clears throat> this wide angle is perfect for vertical streams. Yeah. Um, so this specific setup is complete overkill. Like complete overkill. Also, so I'm using a Sony FX3. With an, I'm using AP, a APS-C lens, so I'm using a Tamron 11 to 20 APS-C lens to get this ultra wide warpy look. Like right now I'm touching the lens. That's how close, that's how wide the lens is. But it's complete overkill if you guys are doing YouTube. I also use this for corporate work that I do, so I can justify this. But this, you don't, you don't need all this shit to do YouTube, okay? Do you have substitutions for the Evergoods CAP2? Uh, well, since I don't know what that is, or alternatives i would have to look it up to give you an alternative <clears throat> so let's check it out real quick you said the evergoods they make bags right if i'm not mistaken so civivi so access a uh, civic access pouch two liter is what they are rocking do i have alt alternatives to this uh so this immediately gives me alpaca vibes why do you need an alternative? Is it sold out? Okay, it's 75 bucks. So, um, this gives me vibes. <clears throat> um, let's see. Yagen. Yagen Dong. Nah, nah. Come on now, G. <laughs> let's see. Yeah, I don't know if uh, this gives me alpaca vibes. This also kind of gives me vibes of the Tom Talk tech pouch. So, what I've been using lately for my tech pouch has been the Tom Talk. This one's a little bit better because it has like this full opening shows everything, right? But um Yeah. I don't all I can think of is probably the Alpaca tech pouch that they just released. And I think um Moft just came out with a case and Orbit Key just came out with a case as well. But I don't do too many like tech cases. Of course, you got Bellroy, which their shit's normally kind of pricey. So you just kind of got to just decide which one works for you. But I don't have a, like a lot of experience with like tech pouches. Do I want to swap Trump says Joe? What are you driving? What are you driving? It might be a straight up swap, right? The Fossil Nate on now. It's a 50 millimeter. Boy, that's a big boy. 50 millimeter would make me freaking make me. Uh, uh, yeah. 50 millimeters is too big it's freaking humongous for me personally not for humans overall just for my wrist it's just too big we gloom would force guys to carry flashlights and edc yeah so i have this watch that i'm wearing has really good loom on it loom is like the i don't know painting coating they put on watch faces so that you can see them at night and so like if i were to um if i were to run this i don't know if i can get it to be dark enough in here to see the loom hey google Turn off the studio light. Yeah, you still really can't see the loom. But normally, if this was darker, you would be able to see the loom. I guess I could <coughs> literally turn off this other light, see if you can get the loom to come up. But once this thing gets dark enough, the loom will begin to illuminate. I still don't think it's dark enough. It's a couple other lights I can turn off. But anyways, the loom will illuminate. Hey, Google, turn on the studio light. And so if you can get this thing, I love a, a decent amount of loom. I'm not a big fan of watches that don't have it. It's kind of just hard to see them. Like even my A12 Dirty Dozen, which costs more than this, the loom is not as good on that watch as it is on this watch. So it just, it just really depends. It just really depends on what you prefer when you're picking up stuff like that. Uh, my GNG &G deadlock is back from the hospital. Well, what happened to it? And when did it come back? And thanks for kicking the door in. Do you use a pocket organizer? Only time I use pocket organizers 
West has fallen is when I'm carrying a slip joint that doesn't have a pocket clip. So I have the tactile knife bear and that doesn't have a pocket clip. I will put that into I will put that into a pocket organizer that I got from a leather company along with the flashlight that I'm carrying that day. But that's it. Um, bro looking like he's trying to scout someone out in the call of duty area says fear God, sir. Maybe I am. I don't know, man. Oh, that upper room, nigga. The upper room. Joy says, what stick are you smoking? I am having a factory smoke by Drew Estates, the Robusto specifically. And all of that good stuff. So what else? We also got. Oh, see, that's what it is. The Alpaca Gold Mini. That's what I thought. The Alpaca Go Mini. Yeah, I think that... Did I see Landon EDC carrying that? Let me check that out. I think I did see him carrying that. And I might even be mispronouncing that wrong. And if I am, oh my God, I hate myself. I hate myself. Uh, where is his channel? Yeah, I would, have to, I would have to check it out. But I'm pretty sure that is it. Alpaca makes some freaking bangers when it comes to that type of stuff. Alpaca makes some bangers when it comes to that type of stuff. Uh, let's see what else we got here. It's kind of pricey. There are a lot of options out there, but what do you think? Uh, we'd like to hear from EDC enthusiasts such as yourselves, such as stay blessed a bunch. Okay. And I oh, appreciate you linking that up, Chris. Appreciate you linking that up. And if you see any chaos in the chat, Chris, feel free to uh, go ahead and make that shit happen just in case. Okay. Just in case you see chaos in the chat, you're more than welcome to unleash yourself. It says, nice setup. Greetings from Italy. I'll I'll stream from my A6002 when I'm finished my home. My favorite bag is the Timbuk 2 Retro. Yeah, I, the A6000s are good. If you can swing it, I would get an A6100, but the A6000 is still good. They updated the autofocus. This old-ass camera I got here that's showing all my shit is an old trash camera. I use a manual focus only, and it gets the job done. In addition to a notepad, I carry in a backpack an Oxford Leather Index Card Wallet Mini, the Pilot Point. Yeah, you know what? I, I've been writing in me mechanical pencils lately. One of them I got from Tactile Turn. And it's been like a super enjoyment to finally get back to like using stuff like that. Um, all right, so next we have here. Let's talk about the actual Blade Texas. I don't know if you guys are going to Blade Texas. I want to. There's some things that I've been kind of like, like scoping out in regards to Blade Texas, and I think that um, one of the things that I want to take a look at is the Tatcom. I think hopefully they are at Blade Texas. Tatcom. I may be mispronouncing them, but that's how you spell it there. Tatcom knives. Now Tatcom has they recently rebranded. They used to be called, um, I think, Tack Knives. And they rebranded. They now got with Best Tech. And they now make all these OTF knives. And I've been really interested in possibly checking one of these out. I want to see if I get one in person, get one in hand, and just see what they feel like. And, of course, you there's other brands as well that are banging out some freaking fantastic uh, OTFs. I just always had this perceived thought with OTFs that you're not going to be able to really, you know, you're not going to really be able to manipulate those knives without them completely failing on you. But I do like the concept of a knife that I can um, I can possibly use the um, if it has double action, it has a safety on it so that I can't accidentally stab through something. One thing that I also saw and I saw that recently zach in the wild he was taking a look at the axel if i'm mispronouncing that then you know whatever but these two look super interesting as well but they're like always sold out so as much as these in they're kind of pricey at freaking 315 dollars but i saw his review on it and it just looked like they were really trying their best to come uh put out a, a quality product but look at this. I mean, it's it's all made in America. All their stuff's always sold out. 300 and something bucks. I think ever since his video, they, they've done an exclusive with him. The Shift 3.0 Zack and the Wild Edition. I did notice that before his video, the prices weren't this much. And then after the video, next thing I know, Boosie. Hey, bro, come on now, dog. 
<laughs> Come on, man. Okay, it be like that sometimes, but I am interested in them as well. So it just it just depends. I may check them out at Blade Texas. Let's see what the table prices are. So Blade Texas or Blade Atlanta, Blade West, any of the or Shot Show, any of these places. So there's what's called a table price. Okay. There's what's called a table price. And basically all that is, is is when you go to these different shows, the price that you see on the Internet is obviously normally different than the price they sell it in person. So when you go to a blade show or something like that, you can negotiate a, a table price. Last year, I got a Topps Nice Ferret. I think on Amazon, it's 85 bucks. Table price, I got it for like 63. That was not a huge savings, but it's like over $20, right? A lot of times that happens at these shows in person. Another thing that happens at, in person at these shows is that these companies will literally kind of bring their scratch and dent section. <laughs> They'll like literally bring the scratch and dent to the show. Now, Spider Code normally they sell this online, but other companies will be bring stuff that didn't have the quality control. It didn't meet that standard. And it's really hard for them to sell that to you online because it's just like you don't have context of what happened with this specific batch. But there'll be knife brands that will bring out their knives, bring out their bags and pouches and say, hey, this is what happened with this batch. Instead of for 220 bucks, you can buy it for 36. But you got to understand this is what's wrong with it. So you can get those type of deals as well. So if you're going to be going to Blade, Texas, look for those type of deals. Look for me there. More than welcome to come up and say, hey, but uh, don't ask me to do a freaking pocket check because I don't like that shit. I don't like that shit. And I am just not a big fan. of. I am not a big fan of being pocket checked, mainly because I, I like I said, come from East Cleveland, Ohio. I'm not a big fan of freaking people like checking my pockets and neither should you. OK. What are your thoughts on Boker knives? So my first Boker knife I got was a Magnum. It was completely shitty. It had a button lock. Button lock didn't work right. I tried to take it apart and adjust the pivot. And it just was horrible. And it was almost to the point where I wasn't going to get another one. Then they dropped the Boker scalpel. When they dropped that Boker scalpel, I started to take notice. Okay. A little D2 knife. It looks like if you look at it wrong, it will rust. You know what I'm saying? But i love the fact that the boker scalpel was so inexpensive and the fact that you can kind of pick this thing up how much is it right now so when i got it it was 35 dollars. right now the boker scalpel is 38 dollars on knife center but i use this thing this thing lives in my truck and it's a very small fixed blade d2 satin drop uh fixed blade knife it's a one-piece construction so instead of them calling like full tang, like, you know, where you can beat it up, they use it. It sounds a little bit more pleasant to call it a one piece construction because this is really a neck knife. It's really something that's small. It's great for opening packages, I guess, doing a quick surgery or some stuff like that. But, you know, whatever you may want to use it for, this is what lives in my truck. So I like small stuff like this from Boker. OK, because other things that I've used from Boker didn't make me feel good in, inside and so you know um let's see nra bag about to for about a year starting to get some small holes in the bottom recommendations for a nice bag under 150 and 200 dollars. well it sounds like because you're getting holes in the bottom w murphy you're gonna want a bag that has two different materials right so like um for instance i carried the amp the amp 10 for quite a while in the amp 10 has to, i think the very bottom of it has 10 a thousand d cordura which is very very rough but it can take a beating so whatever your next bag is you're going to want something that's going to be durable on the bottom it's hard for me to give that recommendation because i my mind immediately goes towards stuff like eberlin stock like you can get an eberlin stock jackknife which i think is a pretty fantastic bag i don't know the exact makeup of it i just know that i ruck with it and when i ruck with the eberlin stock jackknife i literally will at the end of a ruck or wherever i have a midway point i would just throw the bag off my body i have no issues with it at all but the eberlin stocks you know it's like a 200 and something but some uh 229 dollar bag now i don't have any experience with the bandit but i've seen a bunch of videos on it and people seem to like the bandit so 
I don't know what what happened to your bag to why it's beginning to tear at the bottom. So my my ruck bag right now is this bag up here, the jackknife, which is two hundred and twenty nine dollars. But I've seen a lot of good uh, people talk about the uh, bandit. And one thing about this is it does have a durable bottom. So it's something you're going to be able to throw and not worry about. It comes in all sorts of colors. So that might be something that you may want to take a look at. Then there's also the Van Quest. Um, I think it's with the Trident or whatever they call it. I think that's a decent bag. And you can also take a look at used. Like you might even be able to find some Vertex Ready Pack 2.0s that are still laying around because 3.0s are out. So you might be able to find like right here. They got a Vertex 2.0 for 180. So you might be able to find some old Vertex Ready Pack 2.0s, which is what I, I absolutely love that bag. Um, if you get a 3.0, I think they're going to be over 200 bucks. So hopefully that kind of answers your question. And if you want something that's sleek looking, what I'm testing out right now might be something that you might want to take a look at, which is the TomTac Voyage T20, uh, T50 bag. I've been testing this thing out for it's been a couple of weeks now and it's 200 bucks but there's always coupons so they have a coupon that you can literally clip if you buy an additional item but i would i would just wait it out if you pricing always just jumps if you look here so i would kind of wait it out because you're gonna you're gonna notice a price jumps down for this so this this is more like an executive sleek looking bag so if you don't want something that looks super ruggedy like I was just showing you, then you might want to take a look at this one too. But there's so many, there's so many of them out here. George Define, JB Outside. There's just so many channels that can help out with that as well. Um, let's see. Carry my ASK, the G19, a Travax, and a La T. Just stopping by to show some support. Hey, thanks for stopping by. So you got a good head on your shoulders, man. So right now my flannels come from Field and Stream. Field and Stream is sold at Dick Sporting Goods and I think they sell online. Um, I'm in talks with a company that literally, which sounds freaking weird, they wanna sponsor the channel and be like the official flannel of the channel. Like, I'm like, what are you talking about? What? Huh? I mean. Bro, what are you talking about, man? They say, X, we notice you wear a lot of flannels. We can be an official sponsor of the channel and you wear our flannels only. And I was like, okay, so it's a possibility, but. I just tend to wear a lot of flannels from uh, Dick Sporting Goods because there's one 10 minutes from my house. They offer a 5% military discount and they're comfortable. They have ones that are heavier. If it's super cold, lighter weight like today. Um, and it kind of just goes from there. Max level EDC. Thanks for kicking the goddamn door in. My guy, I was just watching your live stream. I'm looking forward to your video on three months later with the Leatherman Arc. I got my goddamn popcorn ready. I was just talking about the mod that I did with my Leatherman Free p4 and just like but for your mod that you did to your leatherman free p2 kind of gave me the idea to do the mod for this one and it's it's keeping me from buying the leatherman arc you know there's some things about the arc that gets grandpa excited but just to be able to keep this in the hand kind of just kind of makes life good okay kind of makes life good thanks for kicking the door in nice that boker's looking really good yeah yeah i i, I uh I can agree with that. The Boker is really nice, but like I say, it would it would never leave my truck or just leave like my desk. It's nothing I'm going to carry in the pocket, you know, stuff like that. The Boker Shiv, I think have I heard of that one? Field trip. Let me look that shit up real quick. The Shiv. Okay, so let me go on their website because I, I don't know if I've heard of this one specifically. Google just tried to correct my shit to the, the bike shiv. I don't I don't think it's the bike shiv, but I don't see it. I don't see it. Uh, Yeah, send it to me. Let's see. Care to share about East Cleveland at all? Um, I do a lot of siding and remodel work there. Nobody has given us much trouble after we let them know we're just helping turn the city around. So, yeah, East Cleveland and Cleveland are two different cities. So that's the first thing is like they are two different zip codes. There's a literal sign like so my family is from East 129th Street. And in the middle of that street, there's a sign that says, welcome to Cleveland. And then if you turn, if you walk on the other side of the sign, it says, welcome to East Cleveland. 
for years there was two different police departments. If you lived in East Cleveland, there was a high likelihood that when you called the police, whatever you were calling them for, you were going to have to figure it out. OK, so there was, you know, um, discontinued. Oh, my God. On their website, Max Level. Oh, it comes out Friday. OK, I got you. Your video comes out Friday. Wow. Hold on, man. Oh, I got to I got to check this out. I just happened to glance down and see you say that. Free P4. So, yeah, it does kind of look that way. Normally they won't. So, you know what? I guess that makes sense. This item is currently unavailable. It's it that makes sense. I was just on the base website and I don't know what Leatherman's doing right now because on the base website the Leathermans are on a crazy sale right now. Of course, you got to be active duty or a vet to shop here. This is shopmyexchange.com if y'all are wondering. But these prices here, max level, are freaking crazy, bro. They are they're they're freaking ridiculous. A way for $84, a rebar for 60. You can normally get it for cheaper than that if you want to get a non-colored version. Um they got the Skeletool, the, I think the RX version with the serrated blade for $52. You can get the other Skeletool, I think it's for like $68. They have, what else? Wingman, 48 bucks. They just, I don't know what's going on while they're having this crazy sale right now. I wonder, do they have any free P4s in stock on base though? That's the real question. I don't see it. I see a sidekick, which I'm not a big fan of. And then they got the regular rebar that's not colored for 57. What's the difference between these rebars? Oh, knifeless rebar, 57. And then if you want a rebar that has a knife, 53. Okay, interesting. I didn't. I don't know a lot about the the, the rebar, but um, yeah, I don't see a free P4. Let me go to the page two real quick. yeah i don't see it here but this is where i buy a lot of my crap um or or GovX or wherever and of course on on their actual website they ought to offer a military discount but i was just showing as well max level that they they got a crazy sale going on on benchmade on the base website too i mean they got bug outs for 108 dollars. they're all authentic because it's sold on base so tom talk Coming in for the win, says Joe. Joe, yeah, listen, Tom Talk is something that just kind of grabs me by the scrotum. Pause. It, it's a fantastic little Chinese company. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 they just keep pumping out products. They're pretty quiet. They've never, they started sending me stuff last year, but all the videos that you've ever seen from me and Tom Talk that I was making initially was just shit I bought on my own. Then I gained their attention because of my videos. But they are just like this company that's pumping out gear quietly they don't really make too much of a fuss they kind of they get really particular about the spelling of their brand i will say that i, I think i the, the whole word tom talks lowercase and i capitalized the t and they were like hey uh can you correct that and i was like uh no Full disclosure, Tom Talk has sponsored videos in the past, meaning sponsored, meaning they paid me to do videos. Um, but I always disclose that in videos. And I also don't let them see the video before it releases. And I will shit on their products if I'm not a fan of them. But I just like to disclose that if they've ever paid me to do videos before. Uh, definitely will check it out. I use it for everything from going to work, hiking. There you go. If you're using it for hiking, then I, I can only give you my experience. So my experience for rucking has only been three bags or three line of bags. The amp line from 511, which is discontinued. The long walk series from Vertex, which is still in it's super lightweight. I don't know how it's gonna hold up, uh, dropping it from rucking. And the Eberlin stock. Those are my experiences. I have a go ruck, um, but I don't, I don't really, I've been rucking with it lately, but I have a GORUCK GR2 Dyneema, which I'm checking it out. I'm trying to see what I think about it, but this is not my main rucking bag. It has a 20 pound armor plate in it right now, but it's not my main rucking bag. I'm just telling you like the main things that I ruck with. 
which is always good to go. That bag is pretty cheaply made. Free gift from my in our. <laughs> I got you. That's why it's probably falling apart. Yeah, they probably just OEM'd it from somebody or white gloved it from somebody and put their label on it. Damn, this live looks nice. Appreciate that, man. Uh, let's see. Do I have any experiences with the Martelling Top Packs? No, I don't. But I can look one up. Field trip. Let's look one up, Lyric. Why not? The Martelling Top Pack. Uh huh. Seems to be very reasonably priced. Amazon, I'm seeing 40 bucks. Let's go to their website. Let's go to their website. So, um, wow, this looks very generic. This looks like a here's here's my first impression of this bag. First off, the picture is just completely shitty. Like they 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 have to work on that. Um, this looks like they OEM these bags like um, a lot of different companies looks like they sell these these type of bags, if that makes sense. So. OK, so the initial thumbnail wasn't good, but it looks better when you load the page. I mean, this just looks this looks like a generic 75 liter that they sell on them. Let me look at the materials, though, before I shit on it. Do they describe what it's made of? Material is a 600 D polyester that's weird this big old bag polyester um i'm used to like you know inatech and tom talk and those type of bags being made of polyester i don't know how polyester is going to hold up maybe the 600d part of the polyester is going to be okay it's only water resistant it's kind of eh. i don't know this kind of makes me draw pause because they get, they're showing you pictures of it in a field environment but the first things that are kind of like jumping out at me is like polyester and field resistant. And a lot of times when I go hunting, I just leave my pack in the rain or leave it. Sometimes I forget to move it and under cover. It. Um, and I would hate for my stuff to get wet. I'm not a big fan of that. So I like Aquagar zippers, like flaps over my zippers that protect the zippers themselves, that type of stuff. <clears throat> but it does look it kind of looks like an Everland stock, but like way cheaper, if that makes sense. Um, matter of fact, yeah, Uncommon EDC just said the same thing. So I don't know. So my initial thoughts are it looks like they're white gloving it from another company, but I don't really know if um, I don't have any proof of that. Obviously, it's just me looking at it. Uh, Nicolo is here as well, saying so cool. Hey, thanks for kicking a god dang door in. We appreciate that. I am still so freaking hurt by this. The free well, the free P2. We knew the days for that. Its days were numbered. But the P4, why do you, I wonder why they did that? Because the free series only has so many multi tools, right? The Arc, the P2, the P4, and then like the shit that you could never get your hands on, like the, what the garage and stuff like that. So it's like, why are they forcing you into the Arc? Are they going to make an Arc Junior? Like, you know, the free two and free port, free four, uh, uh, the free two and the free. The P2 and the P4 are two different multi-tools. Are they going to do the same thing with the Arc and make something that's not Magna Cut? Like, I wonder. I wonder why they did that. I'm very curious about that. Uh, John says, what up, X? Just got here. What did I mix? Let me run the stream back, sir. I'm just saying, John. Let's start it over. Let me start it over. I'm just playing, man. Just shooting the shit, man. Shooting the shit during my lunch. Um, love the expert voice details. Appreciate that. Max Level EDC says they had a really cool des uh, multi-tool design that that they put into a patent. It's not a free series tool. It could be the next wave or a mid-range tool, but no info on that. You know what I'm curious about is there are certain tools on my wave I don't ever freaking use ever use um and i could i would appreciate if they just kind of gave if they just got rid of it so there was the wave then there was the wave plus and so when i see this wave multi-tool the tool i never use is this micro the micro driver here on the left here it's good it has a what small slotted and a small phillips or whatever is loaded in there I never use that. Like if I were to modify my wave, which I won't, I don't have a need to modify my wave, I would get rid of it. 
because me personally, I don't ever use it. And I guess it would come in handy if I was ever adjusting glasses or something like that. But I don't wear prescription glasses. These are these are uh, Ray-Ban Meta. So these are they play music and stuff. And this is what I used to listen to talk radio. But if these were to break or something or need adjustment, I would just put them away until I got home. So I um, I really wish I had the wave in the black color. I, I do. I have it in this in the stainless color, but I don't have a need for it. And so that is something that if they do another wave, I would love if they got rid of that for another tool. I don't know which tool, but I don't have a need for that specific tool. I don't know. I'm trying to think what could they swap that out with? Because they already got a great they already have the fantastic um, set of tools in the middle the with the file, the saw, serrated blade, which I never use and the knife. I mean, maybe a carbon scraper. I actually use that when I go to the range, but it would be kind of crossing over with some of the things that uh, versions of the surge and the super tool and the uh, mud are able to do. So I don't know. I, I would I, I don't know if there's enough room for a carbon scraper in there. I don't think it's enough room in there for that, but I would love if they kind of scrap that because I don't ever use it. That's just me. I mean, who cares what like me individually thinks, right? uh clayton says he just watched one of your videos absolutely man some great fantastic what is your main ruck my main ruck is the eberlin stock jackknife right now <clears throat> my ruck before that was the vertex long walk 15 liter not the 28 liter or 20 whatever the bigger one is but i was using the 15 liter because the, the the vertex long walk is so lightweight it's so lightweight and if i'm going to be it most of the time when i ruck i'm rucking to drop pounds if that makes sense so only time i i want a lightweight ruck is if i'm going from point a to point b for a specific reason but if i'm just rucking around my neighborhood around these trails around my house i like more weight but if you need a lightweight ruck the, the long walk but right now it's the eberlin stock jackknife is my is my main ruck and listen as much as i like this go ruck gr2 there are some things about it that are pretty shitty not shitty as in like don't buy it but it doesn't come with a chest cinch what this thing costs six hundred dollars it's a six hundred dollar bag and it doesn't come with a chest cinch like it comes for areas for a chest cinch but there's no chest cinch on this thing and i love the I had to the break in process on this was freaking rough. Breaking in your bag is just like wearing it, using it a lot, breaking it in. You can do that by rucking or whatever. The way I finally broke this thing is I put it in the dryer with a damp towel and a, and a clean pair of freaking sneakers. Hey, OK, bro, come on. Now, no, that's bro. how I come on. man. That's how I was able to finally break this bag in. Like I had to put it in my dryer and run it. But it took a while to break it in. But now that it's broken in, it's just pretty nice. But it's just like the Everland stock is 200 bucks. And the padding is freaking God tier when it comes to rucking it. Oh, it's so good. I'm a fan of the older style North Face butt packs, all black with the two external pockets for the water holders. Yeah, I like the North Face is. Um, I know North Face is coming out. They're trying to re like have a resurgence. They've always been in competition with like Columbia which I used to be a big fan of like Columbia trousers. Um, I mostly wear 511 and Vertex trousers now. But back in the day, it was, you know, I was easy. I was happily gifted Columbia or North Face trousers. And I, I I used to have these North Face trousers that turned into shorts, like they had a zipper on them near the knee. Oh, those were great. They were lightweight. Yeah, it was fantastic. Mike saying, what up? Hey, appreciate you kicking the door in. the that's why they discontinued that i wonder if the t4 and stuff are next yeah all the free series the k the t i mean what is, what's their plan with that type of stuff right alex and what up book homie thanks for kicking the door in any thoughts on the 3v bags what who makes them is 3v the brand the fact that i'm asking i don't even that means i don't even know who they are um i tend to like my curl more than wave yeah so i sacrificed tools from my curl i sacrificed tool from my curl to modify my free p4 but 
I can understand the argument that you like the curl more. I think it it has almost the same tool set as the wave, costs less, and it's like you know if it's getting a job done, then so be it, right? What do I think about the founding forgers D two with D two with I'm, I'm I'm assuming you meant G ten scales, field trip. Let's look that shit up real quick. Founding is it founding forgers or founding fathers? I've never heard of this before, so I'm not I'm literally just asking because I don't know. Oh, it is founding forgers. Okay, so founding forgers, two point five inches, and it is. Um, I guess my initial impression is I like their logo. It looks like a little bird, you know, a little eagle. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but I guess I could. My initial impression is like, yeah. Not because it's shitty looking. It's just, it just looks like another D2, you know, partially green. At this point, there's so many knives that are D2 that have this same, like, either CNC machine G10 or uh, Dark Earth G10 or whatever. It's really about just finding what you, what you, the aesthetics. For $30, it's not horrible. Um, I'm assuming they, they sell this on Amazon probably. It comes in a box that's pretty dope and I, I prefer two different ways to open a knife the, the blade seems a little short how long is the blade itself yeah i don't see i don't see it looks like it's less than three inches I, i've been a big fan lately of the kubi nova just for like use cases when it comes to the um when it comes to a folding g10 knife uh, of course you can get like the civivi mini praxis i think it's d2 but the full size practice praxis is not so okay so 3.75 inches oh that's almost four that's a big boy has a pretty thick scales this is a big knife overall over it's almost nine inches that's a big knife that's a big knife in the pocket it's a liner lock some ball bearings um, I know nothing else about it. I don't know <clears throat> how the action is, if you're going to have to open it and action it tons of times or whatever. But for 30 bucks, I mean, why not? For 30 bucks, why not? So speaking of like things that are like less than 30 bucks, et cetera, et cetera. So on my website for the longest time, I've always sold this little um, EDC storage box. You can you, you can throw stuff in here like your REs and stuff like that. And a lot of people like these. I've seen folks uh, shout out to the people that photograph and throw these things on Instagram. I appreciate shit like that. OK, um, but I did decide to come out with some other freaking lineups of it. So the next one here is the Are You Not Entertained? Slap that like button. Are you not entertained? Hit it, man. Are you not entertained? And so I love the fact this is carved into a walnut. This, these boxes are made of walnut. So it's carved right into there. Um, I like the way this looks, but what I mainly use these things for, I also have another one that's damn son. Where did you find damn, that? Damn son, where'd you find this? So we got that on this one as well. I use these normally for smaller items. So to talk about the flashlight that I'm carrying today makes a nice, nice little segue. The Olight IR, um, the i1R2 Pro is a little flashlight that's going to be with me for today. This is a little twist flashlight by Olight. And I like the fact that it's rechargeable with USB-C by just kind of untwisting it right there. And it kind of gets the job done. But this, so these little EDC boxes are, they're not really humongous. So just to kind of show you the type of stuff that I normally will keep inside of them. And there's a little magnet that kind of forces it close at the very end. Then the last design I came out with is the Go Pound Sand, which is a, uh, army and the marines way of telling you to leave us walk away we're done talking to you right so the go pound sand also just came out as well and so just to show you the type of stuff i put inside like my little security keys to log into my google account this is about how big it is you see it can fit an air tag in there apple air tag so if you're trying to figure out like well how big is it what can i put in there here you go here's a reference for you so you can put your re's in there you can put like sd cards you can put whatever you want to ranger eyes whatever you want to store in there peels flashlights all that type of stuff <clears throat> so that is just newly released link link is in the description if you want to check those out they're only 25 bucks and uh i'm actually freaking pounding those out here in the man cave congratulations i make them
just got home from work and says, what better way to chill out than, hey, man, I, thank you for kicking the door in. We appreciate that. Um, says swap out the larger fix, the fix slotted with a slotted. Oh, it will be the perfect multi tool. You know what? Are you talking about the wave or are you talking about my free P4? I like Oz for when I'm in a pinch. You know, Oz are designed to like dig into wood or whatever you want to use them for. But if it was like an Aw, you can use it for, well, you shouldn't use it for carbon scraping. But if you really need it to, you can use it for something like that. Um, you can use it for obviously carving and digging into wood. Yeah, that, that's not a horrible idea. I like a nice big slotted screwdriver for prying sometimes because I don't care a dedicated pry tool. So that makes sense for me sometimes. Bentley is here as well saying, yo, X, what up? What up, man? So stay angry. Lightning Boat says, I like a good awe on the Wave Plus in place of the micro driver. Yeah. I don't know if they got the room for it, though. That micro driver is so slim. Like, I can go grab my. It's so it's, it's like such a slim thing. It's, it's not like a ton of room in there. I'm trying to think about the size of my all of my Leatherman juice. Maybe they can put that same size one in there. Yeah, that might make sense. I use the small driver every now and again on electronics and a push. Oh, so if you need to reset something on a device, yeah, that makes sense. I guess for when I need to do micro adjustments on electronics, I have an entire iFixit kit and also have a tool set from Hoto. And I just, I pull those out. I either work here, I work in my coffee area, or I have a full eight foot, eight foot long workbench. So it just really depends. It says, what bag do I recommend for EDC and have a lot of organization? I got a lot of, there's just tons of bag videos on my channel, but there's way more on channels like George Define, JB Outside. If you want to, if you want EDC with a lot of organization, then I would say, I don't know what your budget is, but I, I would probably lean towards um, anything from Alpaca, from Air, but specifically, you can also look at that TomTok Voyage T50 I just showed you. But if you want tons of organization, like a lot of different pockets, then you can look at stuff from something from like Alpaca. They're going to have that type of stuff. Let's see, Ghosted says, hey, bro, I like your setup. Uh, you think you could strip down and oh, my God, here we go. Yeah, go ahead, bounce this dude up out of here, man. Go ahead, make that shit. Go ahead and make that shit going with just freaking. Ah! <laughs> Appreciate you kicking the goddamn door in for a couple of minutes, though, man. We appreciate that. What is the what are the best keychain multi tools, and what do you carry if you do at all? So I don't like putting uh, keychains or, or multi tools on my actual multi tools. Like I'm not a big fan of that, mainly because I like a very very slim down, jiggle free, jingle free uh, key setup. But if I had to choose one, it would probably be the Gerber Dime just for the size purposes or if you can find a leatherman oh my god what is this shit called not the micra the one that's discontinued squirt if you can find a leatherman squirt ps4 those are perfect little small ones you also can get like a shard if you don't need if you don't need pliers and shit like that yeah Never going to get any work done with you stepping your life. Yeah, I get work done, man. Now now I'm staring at my email from across the room. I'm always getting stuff done. Have you tried the ghost hydration drink? Saw them in a local Exxon and was shocked. So I follow this guy. His name is um, Jayhawk, Johnny Hostutter. And he works for Ghost. He seems to like it, but he also works for Ho Ghost. He has a, a slight bias, right? I would imagine. Hold on, let me clear my throat. but you know have i tried it like have i tried it personally nah nah i haven't what is the best uh, knife the heist or the iridium you're talking about from kershaw are they both from kershaw i if i think i own the iridium i don't know what the heist is the pink lemonade ghost is freaking fire oh i absolutely concur with that sir <laughs> We got a lot of candidates for the freaking upper room oh, today, man. Upper room, nigga. Ah! <laughs> Let's see. Which is better, the boker or anything with a tip? Hmm. 
I does Boker make those freaking like donut and wiener knives and stuff like that? I don't know a lot about them. I think that they're deceivingly sh uh, like the those knives that are like I don't know who makes the knives that are the wiener knife and the, the uh, donut knife and like who makes those? My issue with those is like the um I think that it's kind of dangerous to hand one of these to somebody. So this is the Wiener Warrior, which is freaking weird to say. Pause. Okay, but the Wiener Warrior, because these are sharp. These are freaking some sharp bad boys. And so to hand this to somebody with the CPM Magna Cut, like, and they, they think it's a toy. I don't know about that. Who makes the other one? So, yeah, the Boker Wiener Warrior. It's $70. I mean, like, they have gone crazy with this Wiener shit. God damn. Golly. Yeah, but like I say, I think that this could be dangerous to hand to someone and they think it's a toy and they cut themselves. I don't know what the blade is made of. It's it's novelty. People like it. They also like the donut series and all that type of stuff. So everybody everybody has different flavors. But I would pro if I had to get one, I would get something that had a tip. Like you mentioned earlier, I don't think I would get the ones that is like that is almost looks like a sheep sheep's foot. I don't know. It's a weird shape. Any ideas for utility knife for EDC? I have carried a TPT slide. Yeah, I wouldn't carry that. I think it's just overpriced for two years. Might be ready to move on to try something. Bonus um, bonus points if they fit in the fifth pocket of my jeans. Okay, so my favorite knife, like that small fifth pocket knife, I have one, but it's um, it doesn't carry a standard utility blade. This one lives on my main editing desk so this is like my desk that i use for vertical live streams and shit like that but this knife here and i'll link it in the chat for you so you can check it out this is the um the the crow the crow craft the crow craft blade uh, tiny blade replaceable edc it uses an exacto blade that that blade is called a number 11 utility blade but colloquially people call it an exacto blade you can change it out really easily it's uh i like this thing a lot it comes with this is what it comes with so you're like 45 dollars. oh my god that's a lot well this is what it comes with it comes with all this extra shit a number two number sevens it comes with uh one additional number 11 it does have like this like i don't know if this is only for bottle caps or if you can use it for cans and then it has like small little looking drop points you can change that out for any of these so this is a, easily a fifth pocket knife. It's super small, super small. And I like it more than like the TPT slides, but if it's any of the hobby blades that you can find. So any other hobby blade that you can get your hands on, not just these, you can throw it in there, okay? So hopefully that makes sense for you as well. I like it a lot. Any recommendations on a slim minimalistic wallet? If you want one that's made out of metal, Axwell, those made a they make them out of copper aluminium brass all sorts of stuff or you can even check the li the link in this video and um, i'm carrying today the the wayfinder flux i don't know what this shit is made out of it feels like maybe some recycled material or whatever they sent this out to me it's super look how thin it is it's super thin like this is my pin for today right and it they both kind of disappear so it's very it's very thin so this Wayfinder Flux, I've been kind of enjoying it way more than, and then you can always look for stuff like Bushway and those other type of brands that are sold on Amazon. But this one's $35. It feels like a reform, but it's way cheaper. And so, yeah, that's, that would be my go-to if I was if I was thinking about a, a nice minimalistic. Mm, let's see what else we got here. Any recommendations on a boomstick safe? So I actually don't own a safe. I own cabinets, which are two different things. My cabinets are heavy, but they're nowhere near as heavy as a safe. The reason I never bought a safe, I guess I can buy one now, is because up until this point, I didn't own a house. And I didn't want to own a gun safe that was bolted to the floor and bolted to the walls and heavy AF. And then we're moving every two years. But now that we're in a house, I think I would dedicate myself. I have like a space in my house that has three walls and I could literally bolt the safe to all three walls and bolts to the floor. 
right now my gun cabinets um i bought them from dicks sporting goods i don't know what the brand is it's bolted to my wall but it is a gun cabinet um a thief's gonna be a thief but um i need a gun safe so that i know for a fact that if when i make the purchase i'm not going to go to um i'm not going to go to like dick sporting goods i'm probably gonna go and go head over to the freight probably go over to harbor freight right now they're having a crazy sale going on through march 7th anyway so and i think this the sale is for almost anything on their website so i would probably look at getting a a safe from harbor freight if you have one near you which there's more harbor freights than there are i think there's more harbor freights than there are walk then uh, not walmart um home depot and lowe's there's a ton of harbor freights don't quote me on that but this is probably what I would look at. Like something like this. I don't know if I need 24. That seems like a lot. Um, But yeah, I would probably get one here. Like this would probably be more suitable for me. Like a 10. Because I have some here on my property. And then I have some on my hunting property. So I would all, all I would really would need was a 10. I don't know about electronic though. I want like a something more old school. So that would be my recommendation. Is check out the freight. So do I like the CRKT C CEO flipper? So it's so crazy because a lot of these companies are making these CR, these like CEO looking knives, these super thin, just very sleek looking knife that you can use in my more like a gentleman style carry, right? So let me just check to base website to see how much do they have them on sale right now? They happen to do so right now ooh, okay they got a crkt m40 for 88 bucks i might want to check that out but they do have the the knife that you're talking about on base for 35 msrp is 44. um what is this blade steel let me see if we can look that up real quick so it's $45 on their website with the thumb stud. I think this one didn't have a, it does have a thumb stud. Okay. So it's multiple colors. So you can get it in this eight. No, I would probably get D2. How much is that? $64. Yeah, I would probably get the D2. I wish they made it in like the 14C, 28N, or whatever that shit's called. Um, my Carta scales. That actually sounds like a nice little combination. That's like a nice little combination. Do they have it on amazon how much is it there okay so this is the same one with that budget still for 46 so yeah um i would me personally i would probably try to snatch it up in the d2 and i, would, I mean i would buy it on base because i it's cheaper but um my initial thoughts are it a lot of companies are making these coast makes one coast the flashlight company makes one crkt makes one boker makes one I have something that's similar to it called the Tactico Bravo. Um, so it's, it's like there's so many different companies that are making these these looking the similar looking knives. This one's almost similar. I have it in carbon fiber, the forged carbon fiber. Um, it's still just a blade, but it does have carbon fiber scales. So what do I think about the CEO? I like the price. It's way cheaper than this. This is what I have in one of my bags. Or whatever you don't need all this shit though because uh, at the end of the day it's d2 just like the the upgraded version of that ceo knife this is the exact one i have right here with the carbon fiber marble carbon fiber right here it's a it's a fun little knife to use but um i wish mine had a thumb stud like the ceo i do i do know that i would take a thumb stud all day do i carry handcuff keys no i don't I don't, I don't even know if it's legal in every state to carry handcuff keys, but I wouldn't want to run into it possibly being illegal. Have I seen the O time O light or O knife? Is it the same? Oh, it's a slider, huh? O tactical EDC tool. Yeah, this is cool, but like I say, it's it's using a here's my here's my only issue with these things. Okay. It's cheaper than what I just showed you. But it, it's a it's a one trick pony. Yeah, of course, this looks like it has a bottle cap lifter, a slotted screwdriver, a little hex, which I don't know when you would ever use that on a boat. And then, of course, the actual slide itself. 
but it still only can use one type of blade and i think me personally oh this is new edc multifunctional tool 11 and 1 24 dollars i wonder where they owe you on this one from so bottle cap lifter can opener built into one a pair of scissors pliers is that a phillips and a knife and a little micro driver and it looks like a saw or a file interesting and it's a fifth pocket size <laughs> now nah, that's interesting 24 bucks i mean 25 bucks that might not be horrible to at least check it out and that kind of just popped up on us so so yeah i would try to check that out though uh, edc for today is the u.s army folder don't know the brand because i got it from an antique school i think you were talking about that earlier right uh zippo the wave plus and an ozark beater knife yeah um have i ever considered the hidden gun storage um no mainly because i have a lot of kids and my kids are super explorers so i would rather have items that i can clearly tell my kids to stay away from like i can point to my gun safe or my my gun cabinet tell my boys no stay away from that give them butt whoopings exact etc etc but if i got like a get a hidden shelf i'm gonna <clears throat> you know i don't want them to know about it so i probably would steer them away from it and my kids are so curious it would be just my luck that they would find it and so I would hate for that to happen, if that makes sense. Tractor Supply has some good options, too. Oh, yeah. And they also got some freaking cute ass chickens and stuff. <laughs> My recommendation for a non-locking folding knife. You must live in a country or a state. You can't use one is what most slip joints are not locking right so i think i have a tactile knife bear b-e-x-a-r um most s-a-k's victorinox swiss army knives don't um are legal to carry and i think i might have a jack knife slip slip but that's all i, I don't have too many that are non-locking They make it in mini rusty. I did not know that. So he has a mini CRKT mini CEO with a jade. Uh, huh, jade. I don't know about the jade part, but I like everything else. Good for vegetable chopping. Yeah, I could definitely see that. Get that tip in there. Hey, thanks for kicking the goddamn door in. You as well, Semper. What are some good EDC pins and mechanical pins? Well, I just talked about the pin that I'm carrying today which is the uh, Fisher Space Pen Apollo 11 Anniversary Edition. My favorite pens are probably Tactile Turn, hands down. They're right down the street, made in Dallas, Texas. I did an entire facility tour. They got nine huge Swiss machines that they make knives and pens with. And then right behind them is probably Bastion, but you really got to change the ink cart cartridges out. Um, I also like Big Idea Designs um pins they're stone wash titanium pin but they're a little small in the hands for me so okay so it's a white label that's what that's what i thought okay that makes sense so it's a next to a sailor yeah i know i know they white label a lot of their stuff from like um kaiser knives is white label for a lot of o knives so that makes sense a good recommendation is the buck 250 it's a nice little slip joint. Okay, that makes sense. What is my preference when it comes to cigars? So I prefer cigars. It depends on the type. It depends on the time of the day, Angel. So at night, in the evenings, I like a nice peppery cigar. So like a Drew Estates Undercrown, or I might decide to get something from like a Romeo and Julieta. I also am a part of Provada Cigar Club where they provide sticks on a monthly basis. I'm a part of uh, uh, jrcigars.com. They provide sticks on a monthly basis. But in the evenings when I'm chilling out, I want something peppery, something with lots of smoke, a great draw. During the day, if I smoke, the most I do is two cigars in a day. I normally only smoke probably like four cigars a week, if that. 
But during the day, I prefer something a little bit lighter. So something like I'm smoking right now, which is a factory smoke by Drew Estate. This is a Robusto. It barely has no flavor, but you can get other factory smokes that have flavor. Um, but I like stuff from Drew Estates. I like Tabaca Especial, which has a, a decent amount of smoke and flavor to it as well. I also like, uh, not Olivia. I know I mispronounce it all the time. But I like stuff from them. Those are very reasonably priced and affordable. I don't like sticks that have a gauge bigger than 52. It makes me feel like I got a freaking, you know, that's just, it's just too big. You can put it like that. And I don't like sticks that don't have a lot of smoke and a lot of draw. This this stick is pumping out smoke. It's not pump out too much smoke. This is a very budget stick. This thing probably costs $2.50. So it just it just really depends. I don't want to get a stick and it barely has any smoke. But those are kind of where I go with. I carry SAK a lot of the time as my main EDC. It's fine so far as non-locking. I say uh, SAK has the tools that you need and keep it as slim as possible. Y'all can concur with that. I can absolutely concur with that, man. It's so crazy because for me personally, whenever all I'm carrying is a multi-tool, kind of what I've talked about today, what if all I'm carrying is a multi-tool, then I feel like I have everything I need to get the job done. Maybe not as fast, right? The arc, I could whip out the knife. This one, I have to open it. It's going to be coming out way slower, right? But, you know, it's still something that's just very simple to use, very simple to keep in the pocket. Keep it simple, stupid. And there's some things about this I think are improved by the arc. The arc, you can change the pocket clip around. It has the thumb, the thumb stud for the, the, you know, it just has a better tool set. But this one, now that I've modified it, I have no reason. And now that I know it's discontinued, I really don't have a reason to get rid of my freaking Leatherman Free P4 at all. Have I ever tried the Emerson knife? Field trip. Emerson knives. I don't have any, but I'm going to write it down because now I think this is like a third live stream I've been on was people have talked about Emerson knives. Um, I talked about what I'm interested in picking up at at Blade Texas tomorrow. Man, OK, the, boy, the price is immediately grabbed me by the goddamn boss. Pause. Goodness gracious. OK, I know nothing about this company, but the, the prices are up there. All right. Um, so just first impressions, this first knife, is that the thing that you can use to open the knife while it's in your pocket? I don't know a ton about knives. Is that what that's for? This little nick right here? What, what is this little indention for? Is that what that's for? So you can like open it coming out your pocket? I think I've seen people do that shit on the YouTube's university. So I love the shape of this blade. I love like that type of this aggressive like tanto style this is fantastic for getting inside of tight places like busting a zip tie open or something like that that's oh, it's so good it's the same shape on the benchmade bailout that's why i like the bailout so much um i love the fact that this is stone washed instead of some crazy shiny material or it's not coated or anything like that i don't know what a thunderstorm finish is that's different so let's see if i got stone washed 219 bucks um i think i would add serrations why not half serrations is it the whole thing or no i don't want to do that i don't want to do that there's a lot of options that you can add on this and then you can add engraved handles on it as well nice made in the usa interesting so i'm gonna save this because i've never heard of them before um We'll save it in my discoveries tab. Appreciate you for putting that in my attention. And all that good stuff, man. Yeah, I've never heard of them. Pretty sure it's a flipper. Oh, okay. Is it like a flipper? Like a front flipper? I I, I thought it was a... Um, I thought it was a, the little thing that people use to open it. I don't know. I've seen people do it on, on YouTube University. You know what I'm saying? When people pull the knife out their pocket, they're able to like magically open it. Uh, it's called the Emerson Wave. It's designed oh, uh, open out of pocket. Okay, gotcha. That's interesting. Yeah, I, I don't think, I don't know if I would necessarily need anything like that, but I can understand the people that like it. I could definitely understand the people that like that type of stuff. Hey guys, I appreciate y'all stopping by for another live stream. I definitely, I got. I guess I got to get back to freaking work. I got to bounce myself up out of here, man. Ah!
<laughs> I got to bounce myself up out of here and try to go to that upper room. Hit that subscribe button if this is your first time stopping by. Thank you for chilling with your boy during your lunchtime hours. Clap it up. You are number one. We will. Oh, my light just died. Perfect timing. We will speak soon.